What's up, people? How you doing? Welcome to Man Talk. Now, generally, as men, we are always busy, you know, on the move, grinding, but we forget a very, um, a very important part yeah, of life, yeah. and that's health. You know. So, how do you maintain uh, a fit? Health? How do you maintain a good health mm. as well? Be on your business, get your money, do your things, and today we are definitely gonna be talking, or we're gonna be learning more on how do you make quick health meals. You know, when you're on the move, when you're on the grind, and also we are not alone. We have a specialist nutritionist, a hey. chef, Marvin <laughs> over hey. here. Yes, the brother with a nice tat over us. there. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, man, you guys know Oscar. Oscar will be our chef for today. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the uh, you can see the apron, food soles, we yeah, good. We're ready. Mr. Eli Mwenda, Kamakawaida, you already know him. Yes. And of course our guy Nick here. So this is one question that a lot of guys always ask. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason why actually this is the one of the biggest problems that I get people, all the biggest excuse people always have why they don't work out. Mm-hmm. And it's because they are busy. Mm-hmm. But there's two aspects. There's also the nutrition aspect, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And uh, today yeah. I really want to know because sometimes we find we eat so unhealthy. Yes, 100%. so unhealthy, and it's so like what well, we don't understand. There are meals that are so quick to mm-hmm. fix yeah. and mm-hmm. are very healthy. Mm-hmm. Mavo, that's why we're here today. So that's what we're mm-hmm. here today. Oscar is going to lead us to make three types of meals. So uh-huh. we're going to have a breakfast, a lunch, and a light like dinner. Mm-hmm. Our star of the show today is the flax seeds. Yes. Okay. So tell this us, is tell uh, tell us. high in protein, mm-hmm. high in fiber as well. They help with your blood level, reduce your blood level, improve your cholesterol as well. Okay. They're high in omega-3 fats, which are good fats for you, fatty wow. acids to have. Mm-hmm. So we're going to try and make them three different ways. We're gonna have so these are like organic way. fat? These are the organic, not organic, but omega-3 fats are the fatty acids that help you in your, in your nutritional that you're supposed to have per okay, day. Okay. In, your, in your fat sections, you can have olive oil, uh, your avocado, uh, flax seeds. Okay. So these are high in that. So how often should you be taking this in your meals? It's a, no. It should be about 50 grams a day. It's about two to three teaspoons. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you can have it in different ways. That's why we're here today. You just have that. Is that yeah, you can have them more. Serious? Yeah, you can have them more. We're going to have them more. Okay. Yeah. okay. okay. Yeah. Mm. Anything that has protein, <laughs> yeah. I'm in. Mm. And for guys that are trying to build wow. as well, yeah, I do exactly. proteins. Yes. Amazing. Yeah, these mm. are the seeds that are high in protein that help you add on. Like in this smoothie today, mm. if for you guys were, say, after the workout, mm. you'd have a protein shake added to this smoothie. Oh. Just to oh. increase your protein intake. Because yeah. as you now want to build muscle, your protein intake has to go higher. Mm. So you're going to be eating a lot more protein. Um, yeah. If if we put it like in, if we simplify it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, in a way that someone can understand. So Let's look at say, a handful, like yeah. a chicken breast. Okay. A chicken <laughs> breast is about. <laughs> 40 grams. Sorry. What? No. Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's about forty grams. Okay. It will take thirty to forty grams of protein. Okay. So that's one out. So you have one hundred and twenty to look for for the rest of the day. Oh. You wow. can find that in steak. You can find that in beans. You can mm. find that in your lentils. Mm. You can find that in your smoothie. Mm. So it's about knowing the balance okay. to be able to reach that goal. Right. And if you're doing the opposite, let's say losing weight, now you're going into a calorie deficit. Yeah. Yeah. Where now you have uh-huh. the carbs that are removed. Mm. So you won't be having complex oats, for example. You'll be having something lighter. So you may right. be for having example, things like salads, salads, like the light dinner. Uh-huh. Yeah. So you, 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 you probably had something, many of these different diets being thrown around. Mm. One of them called paleo, okay. which actually tries to remove the carb aspect or wheat I've aspect heard, yeah, 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 from yeah. that. So I think it's cool because you're going to literally show us you're trying yeah. to gain weight, you've got the meat side, so you're yeah. trying to lose weight. So yeah, and then the I last one is if you're trying to maintain or lose weight, maintain, you have yes. a light meal Amazing. at the end of the day. Because ideally at the end of the day, you don't want to have a heavy meal because you're going to sleep. Yeah. You're, you're inactive. Yeah. So let us all that go. If we're good to go, Oscar can... We're can good to go. Okay. We're going to start with the oats. So <laughs> Oscar will start with put some water. Oh, it smells so good. It smells mm. amazing in here. So as we're cooking that, I'm going to show you how to multitask. So you just start off with the next one, right? Marvin, can this serve like a, a, a full breakfast meal? Yeah, it can. In fact, it's a quick breakfast. Yeah. Mm. What does it taste? It's actually really good. It's so different to anything else. Mm. So you put in the next mm. one. Light and Let sweet. that start sizzling. Mm. We throw in the kitchen, the chicken. Mm. So Mark, has this got all the, everything you need in the breakfast? Yeah. In slow, slow digesting oats. Yeah, the flax seeds, yeah. sesame seeds, 
yeah. your raisins, yeah. your strawberries, your bananas. Wow. I mean, so you're really having, good yeah. yeah. It's wow. really good, man. Yeah. Mm. So guys, guys. Okay. The chicken's already marinated. Okay. I only added oyster sauce, soy sauce, a bit of sweet chili. That's just to give it a bit of flavor. And because of time, you don't want to waste so much time when you're busy to start making some of these marinades when you can substitute them with some sort of like healthy sources. Yeah. Like oyster sauce is a fish sauce. So that's good in omega-3s, yeah, for example. Yeah. 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 And then I have some black pepper, some cinnamon, that's an antioxidant. Mm -hmm. So that cleans your system. Mm -hmm. And you have some sesame seeds and garam masala just for flavor. Now, because I use the marinade mm -hmm. in here that already had the onion, that already had the garlic, mm -hmm. that already had the pepper, I don't have to cook that. Yeah. I just throw oh, in the wow. chicken. Ah. Oh, wow. And how long did it take to make that blend? Like Five ten minutes, minutes, but I let it sit down for maybe twenty. You can yeah. leave it for like an hour if you're already home, getting a shower. Mm. Yeah, you wanna freshen up? Just come blend it, boom, go change yeah. before you get Netflix going. Yeah, and then you have to sort of power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's ready. Yeah. So, what do you think we can do? What tips can you give us? Like, um, guys um, want to get into working out and yeah. like just want their meals just a bit faster in yeah. a very convenient way. One thing is, don't be scared of the kitchen. That's that's oh. where to start. Okay, don't be scared of the kitchen. Yeah, yeah? Okay. start there. <laughs> yeah, when you, when you get in, when you see the dishes, when you see all these things you need to chop up, forget yeah. about all that. Yeah, try and think of how can I have fun when I'm here and make yeah. a meal quickly. Yeah, it will change your Actually, mindset yeah. and your yeah. approach yeah. when you're cooking. Yeah, wow. when you're looking at recipes, like I believe recipes are a guide. They're not the gospel. So you follow them, and what you have, you have. What you don't have, you don't really need. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. your flavor. It's your tasting. It's what you want to do. And that's one of the things that we said when we said adrenaline meals is to make things easily accessible to someone and have the minimum of ingredients there. We take about five, six ingredients max. Any guy can get this. Anybody. Because yeah. you know also sometimes like ing ingredients can really scare someone. Man. Yeah. Like, yeah. How much you come when, when you start hearing different names. Yeah, you're like, start... what are all these? Yeah. yeah. And so, mm. Our biggest problem is when you want to go look for like, a, let's say, a muscle diet online, you get things like salmon asparagus, things mm. that are not easily available yeah. here. So it's really hard to switch them up. But if you look at the content of how much protein they have, you can switch them up to have salmon can become your fish fillet. Tilapia, yeah. yeah. nail patch. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Your asparagus becomes your broccoli. Yeah. 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 You, you just need to look at the content of what you're actually getting in the vegetable or the meat mm. and see what you have locally available. Okay. And now that encourages you. Because when you go online, you'll get all manner of different things that you're like, where do I even start looking for these things? Yeah, and some yeah. of these things are not that cheap. I mean, a man on a budget is going to be yeah. on the move and really want to yeah, not spend yeah, by helping yeah. you and all these yeah. other And actually, they're looking stores. for the quickest just way. They're passing the mm. supermarket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. So question, okay. Scenario, right? Yeah. I'm 18. I've just moved out. I'm a student and I've yeah. started hitting the gym. So yeah. I want my diet to like complement what I'm doing mm. at the gym. Yeah. What's like the basic things I should be eating in one day from breakfast to dinner? Start to do with eggs and oats. Eggs and oats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Have a have a snack in between the period of breakfast to lunch, where you can have a peanut butter sandwich. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then you have your your lunch. Mm. If you're a student, you'll probably have your ugali, your nyama, your skuma, your chapo dondo, mm. your mm. beans, mm. basically, and that can be your heavy yeah. meal. Is that yeah. the best time to consume like the mm. um, the most carbs and? Uh, I think there's a saying where they say you eat like a king, have lunch like a citizen, and dinner like a peasant. Okay. And wow. it's, it's, it's based on the fact that you have your heaviest meal at the start of your day because you you're going to be active so throughout the day. morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why you need to start investing in things like oats that are slow digesting carbs okay. that take a number of hours to, for you to feel hungry again. Oh, okay. yeah, so you need to look at that aspect where you're like, I'm going to be the most busy and most productive in the morning. Mm. I need the energy in the morning mm. to have to see my day through. Yeah, yeah. So by the time you're winding down around 5, 6, that's when you have something light mm. just to settle in the stomach carry you through the night in mm. your sleep, mm. and then you start the process again. Mm. How you want to push your best PR and your best weight in the gym, and mm. you have to do the same thing. Also, your kitchen. nutrition has to match. It has to, has to, it has to match. Yeah. Yeah. You can't outwork a bad diet. True. Mm. That, 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 that's yeah, the reality. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's, that's the biggest thing that uh, every gym instructor will advise you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like 30% uh, is what you 
put in the gym, seventy percent is in your nutrients. Yeah. 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 For me, I have waistline issues. <laughs> so what? 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 Like, what would you advise me? Like, someone who's not started working out, like my first time, my first engagements with. Don't shock your system. Progressively change. So change one meal at a time. Okay. Yeah. You can go ham one week and then you lose sight because you look at how much energy it requires you to put in. Yeah. You progressively add something yeah. every day yeah. or every so often. So yeah. you get into it becoming a habit. Okay. What will help you when you're doing... It's the same way you go a certain time every day to the gym. Yeah. You need to eat a certain time every day. Yeah. So you get into that habit. So you start changing it slowly. You change your breakfast. You consistently yeah. have the same yeah. breakfast for a week. It becomes, becomes habit. They say habit starts every 21 days. Yeah. Yeah. A habit sticks to you after you've done it for 21 days. So aim for the first 21 days, I'm going to change my breakfast. I'm going to change my lunch. Two, three months in, you have a whole new It's, menu. Part, it's part of your lifestyle, yeah. literally. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It, working out or doing this sort of healthy eating is a journey. It's not a destination. Yeah. It's continuous. It's yeah. continuous. It's continuous. Hey. Wow. Oh, here hey. it is. Hey. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. You keep talking. Hmm? Mm, that's no. sensation. So if somebody doesn't know, how much should you be taking per in each meal? How many calories? About 150 grams of everything that's on your plate. Yeah. A bit more for the vegetables. So you're looking mm -hmm. at maybe 200 grams. Okay. Yeah. That's someone who wants to bulk up. Yeah. 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 So, so this is a good meal because I want to, like you were saying, so yeah. this is a good meal for someone trying to build. Yeah. yeah. And if, meal you're, trying if you're trying to lose, you just cut the portions. Yeah, cut, cut the yeah. portions. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then the division of the food will be different. Yeah. Here, the carbs are taking up almost 50% of the plate, so your, div your division of the car of the protein and the veg is about 25-25. Okay. That setup changes when you're losing weight. So what's the change to? The veggies now take over 50% of the plate. So this, so this is more this. of like, the portion of this, or like this is more if you want to bulk. Yeah, this yeah. is if you want to bulk. So like carbs, they take half yeah. the percentage of what's on your plate. Yeah, yeah. so it's the chicken that you still had, some yeah. of it left behind, say about maybe 100 grams, okay. for sake of showing the meal. Okay. And then you add in some strawberries, some raisins, and flax seeds again. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is flax seed pricey? Uh, no, you get about 150 grams for 160 more. Wow. And it's, and it's a lot. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm pulling in five to ten grams. It yeah. will take you forever. You and this is because I want you guys to have the mm. tape all three so minutes. It's a really nice, like, if you are mm. on the journey of cutting weight or losing. Mm. Yeah, this is what you advise to have, let's say, at night, yeah, for, for dinner. Mm -hmm. Literally, a lot of veggies, so we're looking mm -hmm. at some protein, a lot of veggies, mm -hmm. as compared to having carbs. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Like you said, you're not using energy, you're not yeah. you're sleeping. Yeah. So. Yeah. And they say, is it true that you should stop eating at 7.30? Yeah. Um, well, you know, basically, ideally, you should stop consuming a lot by that time. Because your body is shutting down. It's mm. preparing for the night. You've got into a routine where now you're going to start chilling. You're going to start resting. So the, as long as you know your activity level is going down, then slow down your meals. Mm. There are people who work at night. So yeah. they are going to do the opposite. Okay. Yeah, they, if they want to work with that, with the thought process of, I stop eating at this time, they'll be hungry doing mm. the night shift. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. So the idea is eat to your lifestyle and eat mm. to your activity. Yep. Yeah. What's the um what's what's the minimum water intake should you have a day? At least two liters. Two liters. At least two liters yes. for the yeah. average person. No if you're working out, you have yeah. to eat about you have to drink about three to four because you Cause you're, you're burning so yeah. much yeah. in your in your workout yeah. where you have to supplement that back. Yeah. Just normal nine to five, normal driving around town. Mm. Try your best to have eight glasses, which is more or less two point something liters of water. Now, thank you so much, Chef Marvin, man. Yeah, like, I'm sure we've learned so, so much. Big shout out to the whole uh, crew, man. The technical crew, crew behind the camera has done an amazing job. Thank you so much, Oscar, bro. I have to. I have to. I have to. Okay. <laughs> 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 he was in a way. And of course, to Eli and uh, Nick, will be just be yeah. eating yeah? and talking, yeah. including me yeah. <laughs> as well, man. Thank Shout out so where they can find Marvin. Yeah, Marvin, yeah. if you guys want to, you know, get in touch with you, how do they do that? Food Solace. So you can get me on Food Solace or Adrenaline Meals on our Instagram, Facebook as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just reach out. We're more than willing to help you yeah. with advice. Yeah. You ideas. Yeah. Yeah. And you see, also one thing that I've come to realize is not expensive you know, to, uh, yeah. to, you know, to eat it's right. right. It's and, uh, you know, you just have to sacrifice. You just need to know what you need to take and what time. You need exactly. to take it, yeah. yeah. So even in terms of type of strength, yeah, like what, 15, yeah. 20 minutes? 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Then you, you've made breakfast, 
lunch, lunch and, and dinner. dinner. And dinner. So yeah. Three days. Yeah. Three days, man. Yeah. And I hope you guys have learned one or two things, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We'll see you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. Let's go. 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 Let's go.